Hey everyone, Cursor just dropped their 1.0 update and there's plenty to unpack here. But there were two things that really got my attention from an MCP point of view. One click install button for Cursor and two level control built into Cursor settings. Let's take a look. Now, up until now, if you wanted to add an MCP server, you had to find the JSON for the MCP server, copy that JSON, paste it into the Cursor settings. You needed to know what the command is, what the arguments are, what the environment variables, etc. you're passing through it. It wasn't exactly complicated, but it was definitely a bit of work. Now, Cursor gives you this deep link generator. So you can paste your MCP server JSON into this template, copy that web link and paste that into the browser that will automatically open Cursor with the MCP service settings already set up for you. So all I have to do is get my DigitalOcean API token and click on install. And that server is set up for me now. And the next thing is the tool level management. If you click on this, you will see that you have a list of all the tools that are available from DigitalOcean MCP server, for example. But now I can disable these tools. Too many tools really means that LLM has a lot of noise uh, and it can it has a tendency to be confused about what tool it should actually use. So now you can trim that down. If you're not using a tool for a certain workflow, you can just turn them off. To be honest, I can totally see this evolving into some sort of a profile structure, like one for building apps where I need a database and maybe access to DigitalOcean's app platform. And there could be another profile that is for say iOS development where I only need Xcode related tools or something like that. We're not there yet, but this feels like a solid step in that direction. Also, I think we should totally add a one-click install link for the DigitalOcean MCP server in our GitHub repo. So I'm actually going to do that right now. So let's go to the DigitalOcean MCP server and I'm going to click edit. And let's go back here and generate this add to cursor button. So I'm going to click on this, come back here, and hopefully this is going to work. And if I see the preview, you have the add to cursor button here. Click on this. Yes. Open cursor. And there it is. So again, obviously I have to put in my token, but the DigitalOcean MCP server is actually ready to be installed with that one click button. Super exciting. And I hope that was helpful.